After beating the game, we get a harder difficulty with plus one max snake size. It's called NG plus one, new game plus one. I don't know how hard the harder difficulty is, but the fact is we can have eight dudes on our snake. So that is an ultimate win. I'm, I'm not even going to take the cleric. I learned that he healing orbs kind of stink. I'll just go for damage. We didn't need damage last time. So we'll be, we'll be set. So new game plus one should be nice if I want to do multiple synergies at the same time. But of course, that is to compensate for the fact that it's just simply harder. But I do want to take it all the way. I don't know what the max is. The highest I've seen on YouTube is plus five, but I don't know if it keeps going afterwards. So I guess we got a little sorcerer synergy to start off with. Already leveled that up. Maybe I could run with sorcerers. And I really hope that for every new game, we get a bigger and bigger snake. It would make sense if they keep doing it. That sounds like the natural way to follow up. So if new game plus five means that my snake is size 12, I'm all for it. Sounds amazing. So let's see. I, I could take another host. Oh, or a witch. That's a sorcerer. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go witch and then merchant so I can go mega greed. Which, well, you'll see what witch does. This area, <laughs> it bounces around like a DVD logo and it destroys everything. So we're off to a good start, I think. Sorcerer synergy seems to be the way this is going. So I'll try to focus that and also try to stockpile money with my merchant. Witches are fun. If I can get attack speed on that and the whole screen is just covered in these moving AOE things, that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a purple canker. Exactly. Projectiles, projectiles. I mean, defensive stance is at least good. Defensive stance is always fun. Bane? I've never done the Bane before. It curses six nearby enemies for six seconds. They will create small void rifts on death. Sure, why not? This would be my second voider. I have, oh, extra damage over time to allied voiders. Yeah, it's amazing. I actually, I really like the Vagrant. Oh, but I like Chronomancer more. Attack speed seems pretty good with both the things I just picked up. So the nice thing about the Vagrant, the projectiles do, do damage. It has the orb, but then it gets extra attack speed and damage per active set. I have four active sets. So that's plus 60% damage naturally on the Vagrant. I think that's decent. I bought out the shop. Now I need to stockpile money. I have merchant. I should try to use it. I'm hoping that I don't need to buy anything for a while. Oh, the Void Rifts are cool. It seems like they're just stagnant and smaller versions of the Witch thing. Honestly, it doesn't seem that bad at all. That could <laughs> stack very nicely. So many purple circles. Yeah, I'll level up Merchant. What about... Well, this is another Voider. Dude, we could just go max Voider Synergy. And now I can... Wait, 7 out of 8? This game does not know how to count. Do I know how to count? Yeah, I know how to count. This game does not know how to count. Can I just add the Infester? No, because it tells me it's maximum. Uh, whatever, we got Voider Strats. It can't, this game can't tell the difference between 7 and 8. But I have my long snake now. Maximum size snake, which is the selling point of this new game plus one. If I could get AoE damage or AoE size, that would be great. I think AoE size would be the best, especially for these small void circles. This is pretty nutty, though. Ooh. Go all Ouroboros on this shit. All right, we're about to face an elite. I'm sure Elite will be fine. Listen, I'm going to press... It doesn't matter. I'll just grab the Arcanist and I'll go. Look at this. Just eat my own tail. Delicious. Um, I should stop being reckless, but it's fine. I'll escape from that. I don't even know what I lost. Probably some bitch unit. A terrible, shitty, bad unit. And, okay, I lost a few less shitty, less bad units. But it's fine. We'll live. Stop spawning! Stop. I want to claim victory. You're not letting me. There we go. Perfect. I might just take offensive stance. Again, it's always fine. So I should figure out what I want to be in offensive and defensive stance now. Probably not Bane. Well, probably something that has a lot of HP. I think Arcanus is actually fine to be in the front. Maybe I could go Vagrant in the back. You know what? No, let's try Witch in the back just to see what happens. Because Witch is my best damage dealer and just stockpile money. Of course, if it instantly dies, then I guess I'll have to change that. Oh, and that looks pretty bad already. 
Uh, so the downside of having a long, longer snake is that those blue things become a lot harder to dodge. It is very difficult, but at least they have a lot of damage. And my damage is still insane. Is this early than normal for an orange unit? Yeah, thankfully it doesn't matter. Upgrade Vagrant. I think I'll just keep hoarding money. I'm not worried. This feels like one of those builds that's actually too good for early game. It feels like I definitely should have been saving up more. And now I'm going to pay the price for not being greedy enough. I love the mouse controls on this. I still don't understand why mouse controls aren't default. It just seems... You know what? I'm going to send it. I feel powerful. It seems like because mouse is that much easier than keyboard, it either should be control or uh, that by it should be default or or maybe I'm missing the fact that maybe some people are just amazing at keyboard controls so much more than mouse controls and I just don't realize it. But I think it's basically two different games with the different controls, which means that I feel that if the game needs to be balanced, it's not possible for this game to be balanced both around mouse and keyboard controls. Because either keyboard controls are going to be way too hard or mouse controls are going to be way too easy. And I have a hard time believing that there's a healthy medium where both are balanced. AoE damage is good though. Everything that's bouncing around is an AoE. It better be an AoE. It's, it's an area. It's a freaking area. Why would it not be AoE, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it is. I really hope it is, otherwise I just wasted a pick. I think I'll grab the merchants. Mmm, actually, I regret that. No, I don't want to get the free... Your first item reroll is always free. That's hardly any extra impact. I'll just save my money. It's a lot of blue dudes, huh? Ooh, my... I think it's just the basic mage. It's having some issues. I can sell extra guys. Am I able to sell just the extra guys or would it sell the whole thing though? I'm debating if I want to keep the magician around. I mean, I might. At least for a little bit, magician being kept around is okay. All right, so I've just barely 100, so I'm going to keep 100 so I get maximum economy. Assuming my merchant stays alive. Plus this wave is quote unquote easy, so. Oh God, I'm sure we'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Then after this, I could just level up my AoE damage anyway. I don't even need to buy units. Okay, also it seems like those... Those blue bombs have changed their orientation. I swear they used to go out, like, orthogonally, but now they're... Like, 30 degrees off orthogonal. That sucks. I was trying to get out of there, but my snake was too slow and too fat. Good news is I still have my merchant. Oh, this is terrible. Save me! Okay, we're good. We got our interest. Spellblade is probably a better magician, though. This would give enchant. Oh, well, this is enchanter synergy. Here's how it's going to go. Let's, let's do it like this. Say goodbye to mage. Hello to Spellblade. Minor improvement. Say goodbye to... Honestly, Vagrant's not that great now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not in love. Goodbye. Hello to Squire. Squire's fantastic. I'm going to just level up my units. Or my items. I don't even, I don't even want Vulcanist. Let's send it. Ugh, dude. All right, at least that was just the mercenary. Now, I gr I know I don't get my interest, but... Dude, what the hell am I doing? Good God. All right, I think this is still savable, but I made the worst possible movements you could ever imagine. And I'm continuing to do it, too. All right, well, this is... Okay, that should not have died. Dude, how do I still have my merchant? Everything got hit except the... F oh. These blue things are different. That's what's getting me. I don't even have an attacker. I'm just dead. Die. <laughs> He's off the map. We did it. We actually... <laughs> we maybe could have won if we stayed alive a little longer. Uh, but we, we had to kill these too. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Dude, that was the strongest merchant I'd ever seen. It was the last unit to die. All right, well, let's run it back. That was that was something else. It's simple. We go... <laughs> we go silence their merchant. And we just hit him. I don't even want to go cleric. I think I can just kill him here. Just ram him. Yeah, yeah, you just ram him. Okay. 
Who needs damage? Damage is overrated. And we didn't even lose a unit. Okay, what a start to this run is. Or this run. <laughs> we can take even less damage. Sure, let's take a Sage and a Vagrant. What could go wrong? Yeah, I've, ta I've taken a lot of interesting things, but no real damage. Mm, you might die real easily, though. No, we'll be fine. What a weird and dumb start. Why don't I, <laughs> Why don't I just take another Cursor? Just double curse. At least these will explode into knives on death. That's damage. Next wave's hard. Who cares? Alright, so this is the weirdest cursor build ever. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just make them shoot knives and we'll collect them in an area and try to get some sort of chain reaction going. I just need a little bit of actual DPS to kick it all off. Because once it happens, it's, it's a huge chain reaction. Everything has knives and everything blows up everything else. There's a, uh, there's a curse item that I know of that I really would like to get. It's for every couple curses, you deal mega damage. And that could be exactly the item I need. Baneling Burst. Nice StarCraft reference. Uh, it's not what I want. Stop giving me summons synergy. God. Okay, let's reroll once more. Ooh, okay, that's one. This isn't what I was referring to, but enemies take damage per second for three seconds when cursed. Cursed is the word underneath my face cam. I will take this. Ooh, Vagrant level. I'm chilling. I mean, we, we got two good cursors and cursed synergy. What could go wrong? It's already so much more powerful. It feels like we have a legitimate build instead of a random rag team of stupid units. It feels real. Nice. Okay, I just need to start getting interest now. I think if I had to pick a favorite unit class now, I think it would be the warrior. Just having having gone with them enough, I think I like tanky dudes. Mostly because I strongly hate getting one shot. So if I'm tanky, I don't get one shot and then I can enjoy the game a little bit better. Because even though my mouse movement got, or you know, my snake controls got a little bit better with mouse movement, it's still not perfect. I can make mistakes. Like last run was horrendous. So I'm hoping that I can just abuse high HP and win with that. I right, just die. Thank you. I guess I'm still level leveling up Vagrant. I could take a Cleric. Hey, yeah, you know what? It doesn't ruin my interest amount. It just hangs out back there. It'll be fine. I think Cleric... I mean, well, it's better than nothing is what I'm trying to say. Healing orbs are kind of fun. Except I don't think I actually had taken damage there. I guess the nice thing about healing orbs is that I can wait to pick them up. Like, I could just have a giant pile of healing orbs sitting around and only now use them. You get cursed, asshole. Please don't die. Okay, we're alive. No, you just had this fallen there, didn't they? Okay, that's fine, though. We will live. Let me get the healing. Thank you. It's harder to be tanky at higher new games. That sucks. It makes sense, though. Enemies are going to have more HP and deal more damage. I guess I'll just take defensive stance. It's always good. Ooh, cursing with debt. That's what I like to see. Debating on whether I want Psyker. It costs me nothing to do it, so. How many wins do I have? I have two. One on camera, one off camera. So, I have to ask. Since this game actually has got a lot of traction... What do you feel like is the strongest part about this game? Because I feel like this game does a lot of things very good. But I'm struggling to pick out something that this game does, like, amazingly. It just feels like a consistently good, maybe 7 out of 10 game. Without, like, any super highlights. Maybe the soundtrack? The soundtrack is very good, that's true. I can get behind that. That's actually 10 out of 10. Other aspects, though, I think I'm just perfectly whelmed with. Oh. Oh, Infestor's a cursor. I think I'll just get rid of the cleric. Let's keep the Infestor. So now I have maximum curses. We have more curse targets. And then Hex Touch is just going to be great. I feel like I don't enjoy the genre of Auto Battler. 
that might be why I'm not super crazy about it, but I bet if you like auto battlers, this could be a contender for your favorite auto battler. The thing is though, even though I dislike auto battlers, or probably dislike auto battlers, battlers in general, I still hate this game. In fact, I, I enjoy it. I said I enjoy it. 7 out of 10. That's a good score. I'm mostly waiting for, like, waiting for the new landlord update whenever it happens. I'm hoping that the new, um, oh god. I'm hoping that the new update with the new game mode is really fun. Thank you, merchant. Ooh, another cursor and voider. What do I get rid of then? Yeah, I think I'll just get rid of the psychic. My plan is to stream demon crawl on Thursday. I guess I probably will. Yeah, the demon crawl update seems interesting. For those who don't know about demon crawl, it's a... It's a minesweeper roguelike that I enjoy a lot because I love minesweeper. Either way, this is crazy with all the curses. They're like super triple double cursed. Also, holy crap, this is a lot of coins we're getting. Like Jesus. All right, can I keep my mercenary alive, please? Everything is so close to dying. Just let me clutch up. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, enemies taking damage over time have less defense. I have a lot of damage over time. Actually, the cursor item does damage over time. So I guess this is direct synergy. Yeah, this is damage over time. All right, we get a Usurer. It's level 10. I shouldn't need to level up. I think I'll just keep greeting. All right, dodge this. Stay orthogonal. Is it orthogonal if it's still diagonal? Maybe orthogonal only refers to the four. And I can keep chilling still. Diagonal is not orthogonal. What's the word for it then when it's orthogonal plus the immediate diagonals? Adjacent? I don't know. Doesn't sound right. I'm going to take damage, but somehow not lose a unit. That is a miracle. Hooray. Octagonal? See, that sounds correct, but even if it's wrong, it sounds so correct that I would just want to say it. Octagonal. Because, yeah, it's it's eight, and they're all equally spaced from each other, and they all, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, they're based off of the compass directions. Oh, God. Oh, no, I lost something. See, as long as I don't lose my merchant, I'm happy. I need mega gold. 14 interest, let's go. All right, now I can finally start buying things. Let's take the damage over time with Hex Touch. And then I think I'll go for Seeping Synergy, which is actually pretty good. I do have Voider Synergy, and this is damage over time synergy. What do I think is my weakest cursor? I want to get rid of my weakest cursor. Do I think it's Jester? A Vagrant could be bad. To oh, wait, Vagrant doesn't even have any direct synergy. Ordinal, ordinal is the word for diagonal directions. Cool. So the combination is clearly Orth Ordinal. Let's, let's get rid of the Vagrant. Yeah, no direct synergy. It's a good unit, don't get me wrong, but I'll take the Witch then. So we have Weird Cursor Voider Sorcerer Synergy. Oh god, yeah, my stuff is really weak. Okay, so... I had that coming. <laughs> I... I just was wrong place, wrong time. Good news is we're at least decent against the Elite. We could be better, though. But honestly, we're doing pretty good. We're gonna win this fight just fine. As long as I don't lose the merchant, I'm happy. And we do not. Let's go. The witch is doing fantastic too, or at least was doing fantastic. Oh, cursed targets are up. That's good. But amplify is really good too. Oh, man. Wait, how much AoE damage do I truly have though? I think it's only the witch. So I guess I just take maldiction. Yeah, it's direct synergy. We go curses here. I th honestly, I think I'll just keep leveling these up. I'll do more hex touch. And more damage over time. Maybe next time, though, I could level up my shop as well. Dude, okay. That damage over time gets so much better now. How did I lose something? Was it a blue thing? It must have been a blue thing, right? That's the only thing that can just one-shot me like that. Because I didn't even see a projectile come towards me. Well, either way, I'm sure... Fuck. My... No, not my merchant. My other stuff. My actual damage. Okay, I should be a little nervous right now. Seems like these white units are very hard to dodge. The ranged dudes. Very challenging. Please die. Please die. Thank you. 
It's alright, just three more waves of absolute precision. What could possibly go wrong? Good. Maybe the white one sniped me, I didn't see it. Because, yeah, his projectiles just were not visible to me. Okay, again, we still have the mur- Oh, God, this is scary now. Wait, no, I have no damage now, right? Well, no, I do have damage. Right? Or is that this the sage? Oh, God. That's the sage! Well, I lost. That sucks. You hate to see it. Alright, new game one is hard. Um, that being said, I was really greedy that time. I thought I could take the elite. Well, alright, we'll do better next time, I guess. Two losses back to back, but at least now we get to see the true terror that is new game plus one and i need to respect it more so i'm gonna try to respect the new game mode a lot more